Dream Champions League. This is what you came Ooh. up with, Craig, when we asked you to do the draw. Uh, uh, no, I did not. <laughs> I, I, but let me tell you, my fingerprints are nowhere near this. Uh, Manchester City, of course, could face Real Madrid. Real Madrid finishing second is the team that everyone is really going to want to avoid from the group winners. Uh, you could have Liverpool, Dortmund, Barca against Chelsea, uh, Juventus against Tottenham. That'd be amazing. Bayern, Atleti, uh, PSG, Napoli, Leipzig, Atalanta. Leipzig. Valencia against uh, Lyon. <laughs> Hey, that's tasty. That is a good draw. Well, it's, a, it's not going to happen. Why not? How much, what's the percentage of it happening like that? Well, it's a small percentage, but it's more, it, it's likely that that will happen as opposed to any other draw, isn't it? Let's see, but what you want is what you consider to be the best teams to advance so that we have real dream matchups come the quarterfinals. So a team like Real Madrid, you would want them playing somebody like Leipzig. I see. See? So that the big guys, big boys advance and Let now everyone. Yes, and, then, and the teams that do not belong, see you guys later. Yeah. I'm just saying. Well, not the fairy tale of Atalanta no, maybe going no, through no, to I, the, no. the quarterfinals. I, I like fairy tales. Yeah. Uh, not in Champions just League. Just a shame Inter Milan are not in there because they've got bigger fish to fry, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> what a loser mentality that is. Oh, well, they're not in oh, this let's, yet. Let, let's, just <laughs> let's just mail in the Europa League as well because that worked great for Napoli a couple of years ago. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> well, yesterday's chat. About he gone. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, is he over the edge yet? Yeah, Look, at, the day, at the end of the day, Frank is right. It is arguably as wide open as it's been for for a while. Yeah. So, in that sense, you know, uh, it could throw up a, a bit of a, a spanner in the works. But you know, there are. I think the elite teams will probably be in the quarterfinals, barring a big shock. Uh, and I think we'll be having a similar discussion we have most quarter-final draw. Jules, you take a look at it, though. Uh, one of the fairy tale stories so far is, of course, Atalanta, who had that terrible start <sighs> to the group stages, but got it done today. Uh, there'll be Now, if you're in Atalanta, are we in, like, an FA Cup weird world where you want to play a big, big team, or do you want to play a Leipzig? Oh no, I think they will take they will take the biggest team they can. Like you said, it's an absolute fairy tale. Zero point after three games, one point after four games, which I never I've never done before in this format of the competition. It was done before by uh, by Newcastle, for example, but it was at the time where you had two group stages back to back. It was not like in the format that it is now. So it's it's incredible, really, when you think about it. Uh, and Gasperini deserves a lot of credit, and, and so, so do the players. And now they play at San Siro because their stadium is not. Um, in the regulation for, for UEFA competition and Champions League competition. So in San Siro, it would be crazy whoever they face, but I think they would want to face the biggest name possible and try to, to upset again some, some, someone big. And we saw them against Manchester City in Italy, where they, they caused them a lot of problems and, and, and got a very deservedly draw. And I, and I think they can cause problems to, to a lot of teams because they play in such a different way. They have so much energy, so much intensity. And, and maybe there will be a bit of complacency for whoever plays them in the last 16 as well. Frank, you must be excited about this draw. Yeah, I, w I, I will be. I want to see what's going to happen. I don't agree with Junan. I think uh, Atalanta don't want to get the biggest team. They just want to go through. Players are professional. It's not a fairy tale for journalists. It's a, it's a real world where players want to win something. And Atalanta, I think they have uh, the qualities to go, to, to go far. So they don't want to play against Manchester City. If they can get uh, Leipzig or Lyon or uh, another club and, and, go, and go as far as they can, you know, they will be pleased. I want to see, you know what, I want to see Juventus against Real Madrid. I want to see um, Cristiano Ronaldo going back mm. to Santiago Bernabeu and play against Real Madrid. I want to see that. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.